goodbye to. Hello. Hey there. How's it going? Great. Um, I think you're in the wrong box. Yeah, this is the box for the Christmas ornaments. No, I'm in the right box, I think. The Watsons got me last summer when they were in Hawaii. Oh, I see. Do you play a tune? A tune? Yeah, a Christmas killer or something. Oh, uh, no, should I? Well... What's the matter? Nothing except. Except what? We were, well, I was just wondering, uh, what exactly do you have to do with Christmas? Oh, where I come from, we have Christmas. Beautiful Christmases, in fact. Palm trees, sunshine, the ocean. The ocean? Yes. Let me teach you something about Christmas in the islands of Hawaii.
you, but I still don't think you belong on the Christmas tree. Well, why not? Just because. Because why? Because, well, we're all about Christmas. Or Christmas is all about us. I still don't get it. Let me explain. Angel, here's an angel. Yeah? Now we all know that there were lots of angels at the first Christmas, the one in Bethlehem that leads us to... Me, I'm Beth. That's short for the star of Bethlehem. I'm sure you'll agree that I'm not only a history of the first Christmas, but I'm quite shiny. You simply glow, my dear. <laughs> Thank you, Frostman. Oh, this is Frosty, the snowman. I don't think I need to explain what he has to do with Christmas. No, I've heard about you all. And Frosty, I love your song. Thanks. So? So? Do you have a name? A name? Well, not really. In, or in Hawaiian, ornaments are called wahi. Really? Too hard to say. Yeah, it doesn't sound merry at all. Well, okay then. You can call me, um, uh, Souvenir. Souvenir? Oh yeah, that was very Christmassy. Yeah, I've heard lots of Christmas killers with the word souvenir. <laughs> oh, little town of souvenir, how still we see the light. <laughs> God rest thee, merry souvenir, let nothing new dismay. <laughs> hey, I'm standing right here. Ornaments have feelings, you know. See, that's just it. You're not even an ornament. And too, I have a wire loop down my back and everything. Yeah, but you're not a true Christmas ornament. You're not even wintry. No, you're just from the wrong season. Hey, maybe you could put on a hat. <laughs> or I could lend you my scarf. to have a place on this tree. I mean, I am a part of the family and they want to put me on display at Christmas time. You know that for a fact? Absolutely. I remind them something fun and exciting in their lives. Oh, yeah? I was a part of a happy celebration. What kind of celebration? The Watson's 20th anniversary. Really? I didn't know they were married for 20 years. Yeah, yeah, and they celebrated their anniversary with a really nice trip to Hawaii. Didn't even know they were gone. Well, maybe I should get to know the Watsons a little instead of just hanging around their tree once a year trying to look Christmassy. Well, you know. I guess. Yeah, there is that. Since I've been in here, I've learned that there are some ornaments in this box that were made by the Watson children when they were small. Did you all know that? Yeah, we know. They usually go to the back of the tree. Well, I shouldn't be spreading gossip, but some of those ornaments haven't been taken out of the box in years. Oh, really? The Watson kids are almost grown, and they won't even notice anyway. That's sad. Just by the gate, cool girl. Some make it, some don't. Hey, I have heard that some ornaments get accidentally thrown out with the tree each year. <laughs> yeah, those from the back. Oops. That's horrible. 
It happens. Could happen to you, you know. Frosty! Just trying to keep it real here. You mean I could get left in the box or... Or thrown out with the trash. Oh, no. Hey, Frosty, you're looking a little thin on one side. Let's see if we can throw some extra snow in the box. Thanks. Yeah, we'll fix it right up. Okay, then. I'll be right over here. over here. What a way to start my first Christmas. Let me go back here. It's so dark. Christmassy ornament collection. You mean there are others like me? Are you kidding? There's lots of us. <laughs> Souvenir ornaments, you mean? Yep, some of them, they're additional types. They don't think we belong. Yeah, maybe we don't. Hey, I don't go jump to conclusions. What? They're a part of family as much as their other guys, and just as important. Really? Some of us come from far off places. I do. I come from Hawaii. There you go. Well, he's got money to do ranch to visit with the kids. The rest of our kind comes from all over. Cool. Hey, want to eat the rest of the souvenirs? Sure. Hey, guys, come on out with New Girl. Wow. 
boys and girls. just as important as you guys. She does, huh? She has the right to be wrong. Hey, now hold on there, Buckaroos. We don't take kindly your mouth off like that, especially right here in front of the new hula girl. So you think you're better than us? As good as. Wait a minute, guys. I didn't mean to start an argument. Hey, cowpoke dude. Step across this line. Who, me? You hit the snowman. Why don't all of you step across this line? Hello, hey, hey. You think you guys could be a little quiet? My wife is trying to get the baby to sleep, so we could use a little help. Hey, I'm sorry, Buckaroo. Yeah, we didn't know. Did you say baby? Well, yes. We're trying to stay warm in that main stable over there, and a manger, well, is no crib for a bed, as you all know. Uh, stable, uh, manger. Your name wouldn't happen to be Joseph, would it? Yes, it would. Angel, Beth, you know this guy? We know about this guy. He's a part of the first Christmas in Bethlehem, just like us. What are you doing here, Joseph? Are you a souvenir or a real ornament? Hey, hold on there, Missy. Yeah, let's not start that again. Well, I'm really not an ornament at all. I'll sit on the mantle this year with my family in a special place. Your family? Yes. Mary, my wife, gave birth to a son. It's God's son. Oh, so wow. God's son, huh? Sounds downright interesting. Can you tell us about the baby? Can you tell us the whole story? Yeah. All we know are about the stars. And the angels. I brought the whole to you if you tell us. Okay, okay. Well, it all started many years ago when prophets heard from God that he would send his son to save the world. she would give birth to the one that was promised. Well, months later, there was a new law that said we had to go back to our hometowns to pay taxes. Mary and I left our home in Nazareth and made the long trip. After we got there, Mary had the baby, and we named him Jesus, just as the angel told us to do. That night, angels appeared to a group of shepherds keeping sheep on the hillside. Why 
wise men from the far east followed a star that led them to us, and they worshipped Jesus, the Christ child. And that's how it happened. Wow. Amazing. So is that why we're all here, Joseph? What do you mean by that, Frosty? The Savior's birth is why we have Christmas, right, Joseph? That's right. It's really a birthday party for Jesus. But why is that a big thing for a little baby, even if he is God's son? Well, Jesus doesn't stay a baby, and we don't stay in a barn forever. Later, Jesus changes the whole world. Really? Wow. Can you tell us about this story too, Joseph? Well, sure. We can't talk about how he came without talking about why he came. Now can we? Tell us whose we are He came to trade us light for dark He came to mend our broken hearts That we might come to Him He came to be a friend to all He came to show the love of God He came to give His life for us that we might come to Him, that we might come to Him. Oh, come, let us adore 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 Him, Christ.
So God did change the world. He sure did, Frosty. And last year, he changed the Watsons, too. How? Well, they got new hearts. New what? New hearts. Actually, totally new lives. That's like a second wedding. Can you do that? Oh, is it like getting a paint stripper or, or a new wire hanger? No, it's nothing they did on the outside. First, they believed that Jesus was real and that he really did die for them. Then they asked God to make them brand new on the inside. Wow. wow. Did that new faith change everything about the Watsons? Yes. Like their marriage? Especially their marriage, Beth. So is that why they went to Hawaii for their anniversary? Well, that's part of it. They each celebrated new lives, celebrating 20 years together. They even renewed their vows on the islands. That's like a second wedding. That's so romantic. Aww. I hate to ask, but does this mean we won't be needed anymore? We won't be coming out of the box? Yeah, what about us old guys? Well, Frosty, in fact, their new lives will make everything special, including all of you. But... Uh, what? Well, but Jesus will have first place. As okay. Say, our stable, our manger, the whole nativity scene will remind them that the Savior born in Bethlehem was born to save them. That's how their lives will be from now on, all about the Savior. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Nice. Mr. Joseph... Do you think we could see the baby? I mean, if it's all right with Mary? Well, I'll go ask. Why don't you guys stay here, and I'll be right back. Oh, okay. okay. So, Frosty? Yeah, little girl? Looks like we're on equal grounds now, huh? Yes, it does. We're all special the new lives of the Watsons family. No, that's not true. Poor there, Angela. Sure, Texana. I think I'm gonna cry. Group hug.
Dear Jesus, thank you for Christmas, and not just because we get off school and get presents, but because it's your birthday. Thank you for coming to Earth so we could get to know our Heavenly Father better and so it could give our life to us. This year, help us to remember to celebrate you in everything else we do. I love you, Jesus. Happy birthday. Amen. do a fantastic job. And it was all made possible because there's some wonderful adults that made this happen. So, Karen, come on up here. Karen Dion, who's our children's ministries director. And... Flo Hillman, who does an awful lot. Turn around. Flo, we just want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. You put so much time and energy into this production. All the parents just thank you. You just did an amazing job with these kiddos, and we thank you for this gift today. We love you, and thank you so much. There are a bunch of other adults that also helped out. Do you want to stand up, Ellen? Some of the other folks who were helping. I saw you out there, Pat. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Want to say anything? Of course. Don't <laughs> offer me a microphone. This has been an awesome journey. We started practicing the 1st of September. The great theologian Spurgeon says... With perseverance, the snail made it to the ark. <laughs> and with perseverance, we made it here tonight. And these kids are awesome. You should be proud. Thank you. Wonderful. Fantastic. I'm going to let you know we will have a free will offering basket in the back. So as you leave, if you would like to leave a Christmas offering, that is most welcome. Let's give the kids another round of applause. They did an awesome job.
Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. Lord, make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Lord, look upon you with favor and grant you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Have a very Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Thanks for being here. Lord bless.